Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is in English because I felt like I would like to do it in English. Um, today I will show you my 2022 updated fountain pen collection. And I have here um, a notepad. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, a little cough. Uh, I have a notepad from Mind Speaks from Kimmy and her sisters. Um, and I will be testing inks in here. I mean, I will be showing you the inks because I know the inks. Um, but uh, I will show you which of my pens are currently inked. Uh, what are those pens? Which is my favorite? What is my favorite? And then I will have a little news at the end. I mean, nothing big, just Patreon related, but I will have a news. So um, the vast majority of my pens are Cavecos. Um, to be honest, Kimi herself introduced me to Cavecos and I fell in love with them instantly. This was my first Caveco pen. This is Caveco Sport in Mint. It's very pretty. Um, majority of my pens have uh, uh, medium size nib. This one is silver. Uh, it's black. Uh, there is black ink inside, so I won't show you because we all know how like black ink looks. Uh, this is the oldest one, um, but it has a special place in my heart, and I still use this until this day. Um, all right. Um, I can't really remember well uh, in which order I bought them. This is impossible for me to uh, recall right now. Next one is this bottle green one, Caveco Sport. Uh, it should have it should have uh, green ink, bottle green ink. It has a golden nib. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks wonderful. I used to have this uh, golden clip in here when I was using the pen. This one is extra fine and I'm not really a huge fan of it, but when I have s a small space to fill in with uh, some info, I will use my thinner um, nibs to just um, be able to fit my writing in small spaces. It's not currently inked um, because I think I ran out of. Yeah, I absolutely ran out of, but it's a bottle green ink in here, probably from Caveco. Uh, usually I get inks from Caveco. So this is a second Caveco Sport. Third one, uh, third one, basically we got it for uh, for my friend, but uh, he didn't like the broad because this one is broad. This is this is this this nib. It's also golden gold, um, but it's it's really it's it's really thick. It's it, it's thick. <laughs> uh, does it write? Yeah, it writes. I haven't used it in a while. It also has a bottle green ink but this is a red one uh, so it is in my collection because he did not use it um, the last purchase from a uh, Caveco sport line is this wonderful limited edition um, Caveco sport pearl and it has a midnight blue ink I will show you It's very, very dark blue. It al almost looks like black, but it's very, very dark, dark blue, dark navy. Um, and at this moment, this is one of my, my favorite from Caveco Sport line. This is my small collection. And um, there is a one uh, Caveco uh, student's pen I have. This beautiful. This is, it's wonderful. I love it so much. It's uh, my favorite at the moment. It's inked with olive. I will show you by Faber-Castell. <laughs> oh 
uh, almost all uh, pens and inks I use are very dark. You need to believe me that this is olive color. Uh, I have the I have the box of cartridges in here. And this one is Midnight Blue from Caveco Pearl. Uh, all right, so yeah, these are these are the main Cavecos. There is student, but we can't forget that there is also a model called um, Caveco Perkill, and I like it very much. This is the cheapest of all Caveco pens, I think. These are really affordable if you want to start your uh, journey with fountain pens. Caveco Perkill is very, very nice, and it's not that small. It's a regular size uh, pen. <clears throat> this was my first a yellow one. Of course, it has a, of course, it has a medium nib. It's silver, and it used to have the same midnight blue um, ink that Caveco Pearl has. Uh, next, I bought these two, the clear one, which has a beautiful, beautiful rose um, ink. I will show you in a second, and this one has. Um, probably the ol also olive one. No, it has. Uh, I don't have the box in here, and I can't remember how it's called. But it has this beautiful grass green uh, color. This one, this one, and uh, the clear one has beautiful rose um, ink by Herben. Have a look it's very pretty very very pretty uh, it's not in cartridges so I just um, refill my own my own cartridge with a syringe that's an operation um, I love these so much these are very very comfortable to write with and I really really highly recommend them as your first pen sports are also very good uh, but you need to have it in mind that these are very tiny here is the pen I got from my mom uh, last Christmas and this is a ballpoint pen uh, but um, with ink cartridges like regular fountain pen ink cartridges but this is a ballpoint pen I have black inside black caveco and it's a medium medium size of course but you did not have a choice to be honest very comfortable to write but as you can see it's similar in size to uh, Kaveco Sports uh, just a regular blocking so this is a special one because I got it from my mom uh, and the last two um, are also very very uh, important to me this one is MD paper uh, this is uh, this is so precious. It's it had uh, it has a regular black. It looks like this. The nib is a little bit like bent, a little bit, but um, it it was like this. It is it should look like this. It's not um, damaged. I really like it. It's so smooth in writing, like. When I got it, I couldn't write with anything else than this one. So that was that was big <laughs> and it's still very very um important in my tiny heart and the last but not least this is the pen i'm not really a huge fan of i mean it has its moments when i just take it and i write it everywhere and that's cool but when the once i put it away i forget about it this is a lamy safari in mango um limited collection it has yeah does it have black inside yeah probably it has yeah it's black inside uh so and nothing particular i'm not a huge lamy fan i like 
I tried, I have two. One is at my family home, so I can't show you. I have two Lamy pens, but it's not my cup of tea. I prefer Cavecos and I highly recommend Cavecos because they are really affordable and really beautiful. So yeah, <laughs> Caveco should sponsor me. Please sponsor Caveco. So these are all my current um, pens. Uh, some of them are inked, some of them are not, but I use them randomly, depending on what kind of ink I want. Uh, yeah, I really like watching your pen collections. I'm so in love with Kimmy's pen collection. She has like the best pens and she has a huge Caveco collection. Like, I'm, mm, I love it. Uh, okay, guys, so the big news uh, again, big news about my Patreon is that um, there is a Discord server for us to play. Uh, Angie uh, suggested that I create a Discord server. So if you are interested, Discord server is available uh, from the lowest tier, like for all tiers. Uh, you can just give a dollar and do have and have a discord server access so highly uh, recommend um, in general uh, have a look there are fun benefits to to get uh, from my patreon and from this point i want to thank you uh, to all my patrons and yeah if you want to be one of them you have links down below um, i mentioned kimmy a lot so you have kimmy's channel down below as well go give her a i'm sure if you are my viewer you are kimmy's viewer as well i'm i'm sure of it but if you are not go have a look she has a wonderful youtube channel and she has a lot of stationery i'm in love with uh, so thank you so so much for watching guys and see you in another video bye